Well, good morning, afternoon, or evening. You may delete as appropriate. My name is Chad Lamon, and this is my garage. And today, we're going to be looking at the Creality Falcon A1 Pro. This is a laser engraver and cutter. I'll tell you right now, I know next to zero about laser engraving and cutting. And if you fall into that category, if you've always been interested in stuff like this, but never really pulled the trigger, this is the video for you because I'm a novice, I'm a rookie, and I'm gonna show you how to hook it all up. It's actually very easy to set up. Setup was actually really easy, so we'll get into that. But if you're a pro and you're watching this video, if you know all about laser engravers, if you know all about these things, I would love to hear from you down in the comments what I got wrong, maybe what I need to work on, maybe what I should create with this as well. Thank you so much for clicking on the video today. Let's talk about this. My name is Chad Lemon and I talk about knives, tools, and EDC items on the channel here. And if you find value from what I'm doing, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I don't have a membership program, but I would let you buy me a coffee. You can check those links below to send a one-time gift my way. Every dollar gets reinvested back into the channel. Thanks for being here. Now back to the video. So you could take a look at the manual for this thing and see quite the novel to set it up. But actually, this is the manual. This manual is only about that thick right there because this is the English portion. They have lots of different English, uh, translations in here for you. And so a lot of the book, don't let the manual intimidate you. This thing was actually very easy to set up. So let me tell you a little bit about it. So of course it came in a nicely packed box. I took it out and what I had to do right here, I was taking the plastic off of these big orange um, windows here. And all, by the way, this is fully assembled, self-enclosed. So there's no assembly of the actual unit. You've just got to put the pieces together. And really, there's only three of those main pieces. So you've got the big unit right here. You've got the air compressor unit right over here. And I'll show you that here in just a second. And then, of course, the power adapter. But that's it. Um, you've got a hose right here that runs out the back. This is why I had to put it in my garage, by the way. You've got a hose that runs out the back here for exhaust. Now, if you'll notice, some of the other laser engravers that you see are just open air laser engravers. They're just frames that have a laser um, cutter that goes back and forth. Well, this one has the same thing, except it's fully enclosed. And let me tell you, this is aluminum right here. And of course, the windows are an orange plastic, but it's very, very nice. You've got a magnetic closure here on the doors. I was very impressed by the craftsmanship, first of all. It is big, and I'll put the measurements here up on the screen. It is pretty wide, but it's not incredibly heavy. It's actually pretty decently lightweight for being made of aluminum and plastic and having the laser inside. Now, I didn't have to do anything with the laser. I didn't have to really calibrate it before I got going. Now, you're supposed to do that, but actually I didn't do that. I kind of uh, violated the rules there, but you can get started on this. I was started, I had engraved something in with the laser in like less than 10 minutes from taking it out of the box. Now, going back to the exhaust right here, uh, it, they provide this hose for you. This is a silicone and wire hose uh, that you can kind of shape however you need to shape it. And it goes out by window right here. That's just to keep a lot of the smell and the particulates out. And so when you are laser engraving something, you're literally, for instance, let me show you this. You are literally, quite literally burning wood. So if you see the this right here, uh, it burned that out when it cut that. And I'll show you a little bit of a close up with other shots as well. But you are literally burning wood, so the smell is gonna be pretty strong. These are three millimeter wood planks right here, very small, they provided those as well. So thank you to Creality for sending those as well. But you can see here how I just did a practice, a couple of practice cuts. This was literally me pulling the laser assembly and you can move it freely inside as you wish and start exactly where you want to in the software. And the software, we're gonna go over it here in a little bit, is actually really intuitive. I had very few problems getting set up and guess what? didn't read the instructions. I just wanted to see if I could put it together and it was actually pretty easy. But again, this is completely enclosed. You can put the exhaust air out here and I'm gonna put it out my window and that lets the all the particulates and the exhaust go out the window. Right here, I thought I had gotten a dud unit for a little while and I had this, this had been, had come depressed. This is the emergency stop button right here. 
this had come depressed so the unit would not even turn on. But this is the air compressor. It's, it's got little rubber feet on it so it stays stabilized right here. This is the only external part other than the power adapter. This is the only external part that you have on the actual thing. And so other than that, other than your computer, they provide the USB-C to USB-A cable here. And they even provide the USB-A to USB-C adapter that comes with it as well. I was very impressed by that. So people with Macintosh computers and other USB-C computers can just really get to work on this. They provide all the accessories that you need to get started. Um, basically everything was provided for me. I was very impressed by how it does. Now you've got a really cool, and I'll show you this a little bit closer up, but you've got a key that you can actually turn. So you have to make sure that this key is in the right position and then of course it turns on. Now you'll hear it. Let me let you hear what that sounds like. It's not very, it's not very loud. And it does this while it's cutting and it does it when it starts up. This is what it sounds like by just sitting right next to it. And it does this startup procedure. And what I've learned is that you need to have the USB-C cable connected as you start it so that the software can recognize it. Honestly, that's the biggest issue that I had is getting the software to connect to the actual unit itself. But it just is a matter of figuring out that you've got to make sure to have the software and everything connected before you turn on the unit. So, and the software is actually very easy to use. It kind of reminds me a lot of Photoshop. I'm only using about 5% of what it's capable of right now. Okay, so I've got the Falcon Design Space um, software running on my computer and I'm actually gonna start a screen recording here. So I'm gonna walk you through a just a basic design process. This is all I started with. Now there's a lot more stuff you can do with the camera. There's a lot more stuff you can do with calibration and other materials, but I found this to be the simplest possible that I can do. So I'm gonna take a piece of, see I've already used, I've already used this piece of wood right here to do it. So let me get another piece of wood here. And this is just three millimeter wood board. You can check it out at the Creality store. I'll have that link below as well, but this is just very thin three millimeter uh, wood board. Uh, very nice little planks, very high quality. You just kind of place it in here. And they've got a step counter. They've got a little step where you can calibrate your um, laser height. And I'll show you a little bit more detail of that as well. And so right here I've got uh, base wood, basswood, um, cutting thickness of six, uh, less than six millimeters, uh, one to three millimeters. That's how far, see these little steps, that's how far it needs to be from the cutting surface in here. I'll show you a little bit more details on that. And so right here, I'm walking through some of the software and you can see all I've got to do is just design something and throw it in there. So let's, uh, let's check this out. It's engraving right now. Uh, you saw in the program that I can set it to line cutting or engraving or fill engraving. And it automatically adjusts the power and the scope of that as far as like the power that it needs. Of course, 40 power is what it's gonna use for engraving, 40% versus 100%. And I always opt to do the layers, the line cutting at the bottom, and you can use these little toggles right here to move them up and down in the order that you want them to go. So you can have 
a series of complex engravings and designs on here. Um, and then you can cut them all out. You don't want to cut them all out and then try to engrave on the designs um, after that. And so you probably want to make sure that those are in the right order. All right, let's, uh, let's see what we made here. And again, this took me five minutes uh, to put together. And so if I could just get it out very gingerly right here. Oh, and there we go. It is cut out. Check that out. Very nice. And I can do, there's my logo. I think that's pretty cool. And I did that all with just a black PNG image uh, that I had of my logo and then the built-in shapes that were on the program as well. Now you can see obviously the possibilities of this. You can see how you can do so much more with this than I'm doing. And I have dreamed up all sorts of different things. And again, I love how it's self-contained. I can close it up. My kids can't get into it. Um, I can lock it down. I can take these keys out. I can shut it down. I can take these keys out right here, lock this thing down so that my kids can't get in touch with this. Now, if you open these up while the laser is going, it will stop. I did test that earlier. It will stop the work and it will resume if you tell it to on the software. Now you can see where that cut out right there and uh, it does a double cut as well. You can see the, the double line that it started to cut there because that was in the program that it, so if I wanted to just do a single line and you can tell the, the burn marks and everything right there. If you wanted to just do a single line, you could draw that yourself. It's a very powerful design program uh, to software to go along with this. And that helps a lot because if the software is bad, but the, the laser engraver is really awesome. The experience is just soured, but both are very, very good. Uh, and again, I have a Mac, so uh, Macs are usually second tier thoughts as far as developers go, but I was able to download this to my PC as well and start designing stuff as well. And you can transfer the files over and open different project files as well. Creality also sent me uh, some extra materials to do. Now I haven't, I'm not gonna do these in the video necessarily, but they sent me some very nice, um, I believe this is like acrylic, acrylic sheet. This is very, very cool. Different colors, all sorts of different stuff in this one. Uh, I'm really looking forward to um, getting my hands on some of this and creating little, I've got ideas for little stands that I can create. Uh, you can download files. There's all sorts of files that you can check out, but you can also download a number of project files on uh, the app as far as on the website. Um, you can find those different things. It's just the, the kind of the world is your oyster when it comes to creating with the Creality Falcon. Make sure you check out the links in the description below. Make sure you use that coupon code to get a discount on this. This is the Creality Falcon A1 Pro. I'm very impressed. I'm very excited to do a number of projects with this. And I really appreciate you clicking on the video today. If you found this helpful, make sure you give it a like. Uh, if you have questions, uh, I hope I can answer them. And I hope that some of you pros out there with some laser engravers, not rookies like me, chime in and check out the Creality Falcon A1 Pro. It's gonna be a great, great thing for independent creators. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive to get to or get, get into. It's self-contained. Uh, it's easy to set up. I was amazed, again, coming from a rookie with near zero experience in setting one of these up. Very, very cool. Very, very happy with this product. I'm looking forward to creating a lot more stuff with it. Thank you so much for tuning in today and clicking on the video. Go out and have a great rest of your day. God bless you.